it's on. So today's agenda is pretty short and on items, but longer on content. Um, we will review the action items and we'll talk about the upcoming meeting and reports. Um, and uh, lastly is I'll, uh, leave, I'll give an invite for anyone to add any item on the agenda today. I have a comment on any other business. It's probably not for this meeting, but I got a mail from uh, one participant that actually asked, do we really need the uh, design team anymore or should we just go over to a normal working group action? Working group, working group work on the mailing list. I think we need to discuss that. Uh, I don't add it for today. It's probably for the next meeting. Uh, but uh, I think we need to start discuss that. And I was actually like to discuss it first meeting after uh, IATF one sixteen. So it's sometime in the future. But uh, we should know that it's it's coming. Okay, um, so we won't talk about it today. That's what uh... I don't think I haven't prepared anything, and I don't think anyone else is prepared. But you can start thinking about it now and take the discussion okay. on the first design team meeting after ITF one sixteen. Sounds good. Anything else from anyone? I had one comment um, uh, is, uh, are we ready to do um, allocation of the BSPL m and label or we should wait more? Which document is it in? In uh... the, the uh, m and header solution draft, uh, it would request the m and label. Or I don't so, need framework. I don't, I don't remember, maybe uh, I could be. So I would like to see version 01 posted i don't know if that happened do you mean for the uh, mna header solution draft yeah did you post it yeah yeah, or... yeah it was post posted yesterday i think uh okay so then then the procedure is to get make it simple you send the request point to the draft to the shares and to the ad and we take it from there Okay. So the the criteria is really that we have a working group draft, and I normally wait until uh, version zero one before we do that. Strictly, isn't this an early allocation? It's, it's an early allocation, it's, yes. It's an uh, and we so we follow whatever the early allocation procedure is. But that's what we what I just told you that the, okay. we we need a working group draft, and then and the shares need to be convinced that it's, it's useful and then we can do the allocation. Well, I, 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 yes, I mean, the, the real criteria is that, it, we, we, that we have to be convinced or you have to be convinced that it's going to, and the AD has to be convinced it's going to go all the way to completion. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, but we start with a request from the authors and when we actually decide on that. Yeah. So that's, yeah. Okay. Thanks. Okay, thank you. All right, and I'll save this. I think you should close it also because you have the wrong URL. Uh, there is an extra E in the URL, so you should do close. Uh, you mean here? On the, on the right side, top right side. It's I, no, no, not there. Go back to you. You see, yeah, on, it's, 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 this no, is it, what I have. It says save, save page, close, press close. Close. And now you get it in that format. Oh, okay, okay. Um, yeah, I, yeah. 
um, I was more interested in saving it. Um, okay, so we are uh, in the uh, first item for today's agenda, which is reviewing the open uh, action items. Uh, there was one that we uh, said we will close um, that last time, and I took the action and closed it. So I moved it to the closed session before closed section before we uh, joined. So we have two uh, action items really. Um, the first one is on um, this draft, the first nibble um, draft in MPLS and. Uh, and last time we took an action item on the chairs to uh, uh, um, assign an additional editor to uh, to the draft to progress it further. So um, we had a very short discussion on this within the chairs, and uh, I reached out to uh, uh, two potential editors, and I'm waiting for the responses. But if there's anybody that would like to volunteer, um, we're open. Um, hi, Tarek. Uh, hi. I responded to your uh, inquiry. So, if positively or positive, positive. yes, positively. Oh. Okay. I I'll be glad to help. And uh, okay. Uh, Greg and Tarek, and then I think we can confirm this here in the meeting, and we send a mail later. But uh, we confirm that Greg is the uh, new editor for that for that draft. Okay. Um, I don't. S so, would you suggest uh, posting a new version because there is no other technical uh, updates to the draft? Well, uh, we, yeah, the. It, it, it could be that the only change is uh, version number and date, and that you actually put the editor towards your name uh, on the first page. Okay, I'll do that before the uh, deadline. Yeah. Okay, fine. Greg, just to because there is a long history on this, and there was a discussion on uh, whether the control word, um, you know, today it can be signaled. Um, so basically, would the PSD uh, need to be signaled in control plane or um, indicated uh, in in uh, in the packet itself okay. without any additional okay. signaling? I'll, okay, I'll, it wasn't I'll... closed. Uh, the reason I'm mentioning is uh, this is I'm not sure if the, this item was closed or remained open. So maybe there is some work needs to be done. I'm okay. not sure. Thank you for pointing that uh, out to me. Uh, I'll. Uh, review the draft and uh, then discuss with the coffers. Okay, thank you. Actually, Greg, take as much as the discussion you can to the mailing list. Sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Okay, moving on to the next action item. Uh, so this is the use case draft, MNA use case draft. We did a walkthrough of this. Uh, so first off, there was a uh, there was some. Um, Jimmy, I understand Jimmy had reviewed it, and I was expecting some comments to come. Haven't seen them. But uh, yeah, sorry, I forgot to send it in the last uh, week. Okay. Hopefully, I can finish this uh, in after the draft cutoff. Uh, okay. Recently, we are okay. a little busy about the. Upload. No problem. I, I just because uh, we will be uploading a new revision, so maybe it's better if you, uh, you know, take a look at the updated revision, and then, uh, you know, maybe some comments are already addressed. So just uh, heads up. Okay. Good. Thanks. Okay. No worries. So. We did do a walkthrough over this and I collected a number of comments on those. So all these comments that we collected last time um, uh, were addressed. And in fact, I have to sync with the co-authors to review before I post. So that's the outstanding uh, action is uh, the co-authors need to review this uh, and then I'll, po I'll post it. Um, 
there is a uh, there is a an action there uh, about uh, generic generic delivery functions. Um, this was presented in the past as another mechanism to do a PSD. I am not sure if this is still on the table, um, but we had an action item to bring it forward again. Um, I don't know if anybody from you know uh, the colleagues of uh, Jeffrey have any idea on this, but otherwise, uh, do we still need to bring it to the design team? That's an action item on me. Uh, it's not like... if, if I may? Yeah, go uh, ahead. Great. Okay, thank you. Um, yes, um, I'm one of the coffers uh, on this uh, generic forwarding function draft, and um, I believe this is a, a viable uh, use case for MNA. Uh, also, I believe that it could be addressed uh, based uh, in using their uh, work group adopted solution for uh, MNA encapsulation. So, um, it the draft needs uh, some work. Uh, so to uh, align it with their um, adopted uh, M and A architecture uh, solution. Okay. So uh, I, I I will continue uh, working with Jeffrey and uh, we'll discuss and then uh, have the updated draft. So I. Um, this is one of their uh, use cases in um, use cases draft. So uh, I think that that's uh, the right place and uh, the solution can use uh, their um, ISD. Okay. Uh, is this something you would think uh, good to be presented at IDF 116? Uh, depends how fast we can converge uh, with Jeffrey. Okay. All right. I'll... Uh, well, wait a minute, uh, Greg. Do you ne really need to converge? Can't you actually just tell us what the issues are? Uh, again, the issue is, as, as Tarek pointed out, uh, the current document uh, presents the solution based on PSD. But I believe that it can be uh, done uh, using ISD. So um, there is some work that needs to be done, um, and I, I would uh, like Jeffrey to to have this discussion, and then uh, we can work together because um, I already worked on um, IAM Dex based on uh, ISD solution that we have. So uh, I can, I'll be glad to help him, but it's his work, so. Uh, I understand, but it's kind of uh, still, how long, 21st, it's uh, still two weeks before the meeting starts, so. Oh, yes, but the, the uh, yeah, here is here is the catch 22. Uh, 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 the uh, deadline dead, dead is uh, Monday. Uh, if you request the slides only, we can uh, think about that and approve it if you want. Okay, then uh, definitely I'll appreciate your consideration and yeah, uh, if yeah. possible put it on agenda. Uh, I understand it will be for the joint meeting. Uh, yes, likely, but actually the shares has been a little bit unreliable about where to place things. We, uh, okay, we, so uh, yeah, yeah. again, I'll, I'll leave to chairs to decide uh, which session to put it on, and I'll reach out to Jeffrey and uh, um, try yeah. to motivate him to uh, do this work and uh, yeah. make the presentation. The the reason I'm pressing on this is because it's on the action item list for the design team. It's not widely known in the working group. 
in general. So I want want to lift it. Okay, I will. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. I can take this out uh, on its own as an action item and. Uh, <clears throat> Okay, and uh, the AI is on Greg, I guess. Right. Okay, it should come up here. Date present. Okay, all right. Oh. So, so, can I understand? This is the fragmentation draft you're talking about. Is it the MPLS fragmentation draft? Um, I think that there are some more functionality uh, in addition to fragmentation, but yes, fragmentation is one and of their uh, actions. Can I further understand that the plan is to put this all inside the um, the, the um, stack? Then, the um, uh, otherwise, it's post stack data, isn't it? Um, I believe that it can be done as uh, in stack data, but the current. Uh, solution uh, proposed in uh, in the latest version is posted data yes indeed so we need to somehow rather square a circle don't we yeah right i agree uh, okay that's quite a lot of information to put in the stack isn't it it's 32 bits of real information has got to go in there um i agree Stuart, with your point so that's probably a good uh moment uh to review what is really required what's needed and uh, right how to uh minimize it or, or whether we find a non-encumbered post stack data solution yes we're still looking for an an post stack solution post stack data solution i guess um you know we have um we have one that uh, undergone uh, adoption, but I think uh, we still don't have the final one that we want to cl uh, close on. I mean, you could do, yeah, okay, well, this is probably not the right time to have that discussion, but essentially you could do this as a sort of type of pseudo wire if you wanted. I actually think this is the one I think we actually want to lift to the working group mailing list rather yes, than yes. discussing it. Yeah. Yep. 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 Okay. All right. Okay. I'm just trying to the, make sure I understood what was going on. Yeah. yeah. The ordering you meant, and yeah, maybe yeah, the ordering and all this functions. I think the point was it's generic, not only for pseudo wires. Um. Okay. No, no, um, no. That wasn't the point I was making. The point I was making, you could use a pseudo wire to achieve the same function. Yeah, but it's supposed to be generic application, uh, no, not. Only. It would be apply applicable to any payload. Maybe we should have a, another discussion with the authors or something. Okay, I see. I see. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> um, all right. So point number two. Um, Loa, you want to talk about that? Yeah. Can you increase the size of the text bit yeah you have the uh, jacks asking for at uh, that time for me yeah uh jacks is uh raised the hand oh i did not notice uh please go ahead jack hey Tarek, like, um yeah uh myself and rakesh also put together a, a draft for uh, the uh, phd solution um which we took it from our old, uh, old draft. Uh, so we would like to post that one as well. Okay. Are you planning to present this in ITF 116? Um, we are not planning to, but uh, uh, yeah, we will we will uh, present in this one in this ITF. Okay. We'll be posting it today or tomorrow. So it's my turn now. Yeah, go ahead. Nobody okay. else in the queue. So 
the rest of the meeting is pretty much reporting of things that happened and uh, that I want to give you a heads up on. Uh, please interrupt whenever, if you raise a hand, I see it and I can uh, give you the word. Uh, so uh, anytime you want to ask, um, yeah, just go ahead and do that. So we have uh, calls for agenda slots, both for uh, the MPLS meeting and the joint meeting. Uh, we plan, or at least I plan, to have a meeting on uh, March 21st uh, to uh, finalize the agenda. So if you have anything that you want to present in either of those meetings, please please send your request in before the 21st and we try to address it then. Uh, David and Mac might have uh, given you other dates, but uh, I think those are earlier. So we kind of extending it to March 21st now. Um, any questions on that? Hopefully not. Okay. Uh, Nobody. No one is raising their hand. We had a routing area working group shares meeting. We actually have one each month and we discuss things that uh, it kind of uh, urgent for, for the shares most of the time. Uh, this time we had two uh, items on the agenda. And uh, since we have Jim coming in as a new AD and Alvaro going out, they are reshuffling the um, working group between the ADs a bit. For us, uh, Andrew will still be the a a responsible AD for MPLS and PALS, and John, John will be the responsible AD for DEFNET. So I don't think that there's any, any change at all. So yes, just go ahead, it's normal. Uh, you can go to bullet B. Oh. Put it, put, yeah, like that. That's fine. So we also discussed uh, uh, IETF, IETF IPR policy, and it was both a general discussion and actually also touched the decision in. Uh, the consensus call in uh, the MPLS working group not to go ahead with the uh, draft song. So uh, the shares in general actually uh, stress that we are discussing each at each individual may decide on its own for every draft what he thinks about if an IPR disclosure is uh, uh, acceptable or not, and then tell the list about that. Uh, but we can't discuss validity, applicability, and terms uh, on the on IETF mailing list. But you can say if you approve or not of, of a certain draft because based on uh, IPRs. Uh, so, any IPR disclosure is evaluated for each document. So claiming that we have the same IPR disclosure for two different documents and they should be treated equally, that, that is not uh, the, the way we do it. We look at these documents uh, separately. Uh, uh, <clears throat> we have a uh, raised hand. Do you want to take okay. it now? Yeah, take it now. So, so, Stuart, and I was on that call, but I'm trying to get my head around. Is it legitimate to raise a concern against the document because the IPR terms would not permit open source implementation? That's up to you. No, no. Is it legitimate to say that on the list? Um, I, <clears throat> so BCP seventy nine. I was reading it, and it uh, it it allows you to uh, take into consideration the IPR and evaluating the working group. I mean, now 
announcing it in public is a different thing, meaning like uh, discussing the applicability of IPR or not. You can say yeah, yes or no because of IPR, but yeah, that's the, the extent. I, I would be careful uh, mentioning a reason, but uh, on I, I share your concern about uh, open source, uh, and especially for the MPLS work group that I had so many test uh, sites doing own implementation and necessarily infringe on uh, any IPR. And we will actually lose that if uh, we don't have the uh, non assert type of a, All right. a, a All right. so, so, So is it legitimate to express to the working group? I'm trying to understand this. And I genuinely, I've, I've sat through loads of IPR things. Is it legitimate to say, I don't think this document should progress because I don't believe, I believe the IPR terms would restrict it from uh, open source implementation. Is that a legitimate concern to express? Or can one, is one restricted just saying, I don't like the IPR, I don't think we should go forward? Uh, I so, yeah, okay, go ahead. I, I just wanted to point to this paragraph here that, uh, um, in general, ITF working groups prefer technologies with no known IPR claims for technologies with claims uh, <clears throat> against them and offer of royalty free licensing. So the preference is to no IPR. Exactly. Um, but the working group, um, upon their discretion, can adopt something of fair, non discriminatory terms. That's fair again, yes, but that's not what the question I was asking. Yeah, um, I mean, yeah, I think the, the, the gist is the working group is allowed to look at IPR and uh, evaluate. Uh, I think uh, Stuart's question is a little bit more precise. He's not asking about a special case. So if the IPR disclosure uh, prohibit uh, open source implementation? Is that the concern that you can raise during, for example, a working group adoption poll or a working group last call? Uh, my take would be that yes, it is, but I would like to like to consult with Andrew before I actually give the final answer. Is that okay with you? Good. Of course, it's all right with me. I'd just like to get to the oh, bottom of okay, what good. we're allowed to say yeah. in terms of, you know, whether whether all we can say is don't like the IPR, or whether we can say I don't like the IPR because this would make it hard to do an open source implementation. Okay, I will send Andrew a mail after yeah. the meeting. Uh, we have Tony on raising hand. Okay, I missed that. Uh, go ahead, Tony. I'm not a lawyer. But to address Stuart's question, I believe that, yes, you're welcome to say that, but it is over-specified. Um, it's quite sufficient to say, I don't like the IPR for whatever reason. Uh, and whether it's open source or because the IPR is blue, um, I don't think it really matters. Uh, can I just go in there? Uh, it matters, Tony, in that you're expressing to your colleague what the particular concern is, which they may or may not have thought of. Again, I think that's perfectly legit. Okay, should we go on? Um, no one else in the queue, I guess. No, okay. Okay. Um, so how far I got down to the um, no third down one more down oh yeah no in that one that you talked about okay uh, so um, uh, there was a feeling that uh, and I don't. I don't exactly know how strong it is, but it was kind of quite general that if any company starts to uh, 
is uh, create uh, unpopular uh, IPR disclosures. That's a self-correcting uh, process because sooner or later they will find themselves in the receiving end of that. So uh, I don't know what to make of that, but the, it's it's a feeling among the chairs. And uh, at the end of the meeting, uh, we asked the ADs what they thought about uh, the way we had treated the uh, working group adoption call. Uh, and that's, they confirmed that uh, they thought the chairs had handled it, handled it correctly. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Uh, we have one question, uh, Loa. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Uh, I have a question about uh, bullet number four. It says uh, similar or identical IPRs against uh, two different documents does not need to be evaluated in the same way. But since if we don't cannot uh, discuss or evaluate the validity of the IPRs in the ITF, uh, how uh, what is the criteria uh, here? If we have the same IPR oh. term, but the uh, how we evaluate the on different documents. So as I said before, each individual may evaluate each draft on its own merits, and that actually includes IPR uh, disclosures. So there might be the same IPR disclosures, the same format of the IPR disclosures on two different documents, but you might come to very different uh, uh, conclusion of what, what your position is. Imagine, for example, that you have a draft that you think is very important and uh, you say that, okay, the IPR disclosures, disclosure is bad, but I can take the cost for it versus a draft that you don't care about. So why should you bother about it then? So they are different. The conclusions are different. That's what the bullet four says. Okay. All right. I think we don't have anyone else in the queue. You can proceed. So 2.3. Uh, just a heads up that we actually close the uh, uh, the disclosure on uh, the uh, working group adoption poll on draft song and that the document was not accepted. No questions. Okay, so 2.4. Similarly, the uh, uh, disclosure on uh, working group adoption poll on draft yes has been closed. And we have told uh, actually the pen holder, and that's Rakesh at the moment. Uh, we probably, I don't know if they want to keep that going. I actually considering uh, pointing a uh, editor for this document, but uh, uh, I'm not sure. I, I want to consult with the uh, authors before I do that. Uh, so version 01 has been posted uh, and uh, the changes that we have requested has been uh, at least started to be implemented. Uh, and uh, there has there are also some discussion that is actually aimed for version uh, 02. I think comment from you will uh, actually is in that in that area. Um, so far, what I've seen for version 01 is that uh, we can use it as a starting point for the uh, uh, including re uh, changes requested in the working group adoption poll. So actually the next target is to actually start working on, on 02. 
Um, questions? No. Okay. Uh, 2.5. Uh, this comes from uh, that I was thinking about how we actually do the what procedures we use uh, for the future. But uh, uh, after discussing it with the shares, we actually just uh, go ahead normal uh, procedures, posting a draft uh, through the data tracker. The uh, uh, the uh, authors send out a mail telling us what they've done and ask comments about the changes. Uh, and here I say that, yeah, we will appoint an editor with this document and I will need to consult with the, with the, the authors to do that. So it should mention, at least in my mind, there is a difference between uh, a pen holder, that is something that the group appoints, and an editor that the as long as it's a working group document, the working group shares appointed an editor. Uh, if we have editors listed in individual drafts, uh, yeah, that's cute, but it doesn't uh, give those editors any mandate or any really uh, requirements. So, but uh, for a working group shares appointed editor. This is uh, the point of contact for the working group shares so the author group for that draft. And the editor should be concerned both about uh, the consensus in the author group and in the working group as in, in general. Okay. 2.5. Questions? Nope. Okay. 2.6. No questions. 2.6. Um, so, um, the existing working group documents, and there I actually mean the uh, framework requirements and use cases, uh, the author groups need to review them and see if there's, uh, if it's necessary to post a new version. I got an act from Parrick pen holder for the use cases and a um, act from Tony pen holder for the framework that they will try to post new drafts, uh, draft versions before the cutoff on Monday, Monday afternoon. Uh, so is Matthew on the call? Yes. Yeah. So Matthew, uh, can you just commit to the same thing? For uh, the requirements to edit it, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, good. I, I did reply by email as well, actually, but yes, publicly, yes. Okay, so the um, then we kind of slide into two point seven. Uh, I have a list of suggested editors for the document, uh, and uh, the uh, framework is Tony. There's no change given from pen holder to editor. No big deal. Uh, Matthew for the requirements and Tarek the use cases. Uh, if you have comments on that, you can send it to mailing list or to me and the working group shares directly. I think I'm done. Okay, thank you. There are no questions or any comments, so. We did talk about uh, early allocation. Uh, this is just a reminder, the last uh, item here. Um, we will follow the regular procedure for early allocation and uh, the authors will send a request to the working group chairs, just a reminder. And I don't have anything else for today. So we can stop the recording and adjourn if no other questions from the attendees. Um, John? We have a question. Yeah, go ahead. John, you're muted.
Yeah, I'm just wondering whether um, we should be immediately uh, editing the use, uh, well, the requirements and the framework so soon because there might be proposals for uh, stack data coming in. So, uh, John, uh, what I said is that the author groups need to look at the document to see if there's any necessary changes just now. Okay. So uh, there is, a, it could result in, no, we are fine. We just keep the version we have. But uh, if, the, if there are necessary changes, it should be done now. Okay, it's just that we may have to, with the framework draft and the requirements draft, we may have to put back what we take out. That's really all I'm saying. Uh, I think we can uh, edit around that, but uh, yeah. Okay. If we need, just... to put some, need to put something back in, it's not a big deal. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and I have Stuart right at the top. Yeah, I, I agree with uh, I agree with John. We should hold fire, uh, particularly thinking about the 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 particular case that we were talking with Greg earlier in the um, um, in the call. The the logical place to put his data is actually post stack because that is where it would be when you needed to do the reassembly. So um, um, I think it would be premature to delete post stack requirements. Actually, the the what I way I think about it is actually we should put them uh, maybe for further study or something, not deleting them. That's the um, and separate them uh, from the ISD requirements. Yeah, but, uh, at the moment. The only request we have is that uh, the working group looks at it and see uh, what uh, what they what they think they need to do. Okay. Uh, we have one more from Rakesh. Uh, so yeah, for the PSD, um, we do have requirements. Uh, it was in the use case draft for the in situ OEM IOEM. And uh, uh, so we, we do um, uh, need to address that use case. Uh, what was removed from the um, m and header solution draft is moved to a, a new draft that uh, we, that's what Jax mentioned. Uh, so all the content is there in the new draft in addition to the new encoding scheme um, that we are proposing. Uh, we hope to post it uh, um, before the cutoff and plan to present it uh, the PSD solution draft as well as IOM solution uh, using that. Uh, so um, I'm not sure what that means in terms of uh, framework and requirement implications, but um, uh, we are actively working on it. Thanks. Thank you, Rakesh. Okay, there's no other uh, concerns, I think. Uh, so, um, I'll wait a bit more and stop the recording. Okay, there you go.